Today, I'm playing around with the Atom X extension for Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. So this powerful tool allows you to quickly preview, add, and customize high-end motion graphics elements via a custom panel. Now the real beauty of this is that you don't have to dive down into the pre-comps and mess around in the effect controls panel in Adobe After Effects or the essential graphics panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. Everything is laid out nice and neat within the Atom X panel. The extension is available for free, so if you want to follow along with the tutorial or just take a closer look at how it works, follow the links down in the video description. I'll be using a premium pack in this tutorial, but there's a link down below to grab some of those elements for free. And if you want to buy the premium pack after it's all done, there's also an affiliate link down there for that. Let's take a closer look at how this works. So for the first step, I need to get this extension installed. So for that, I'm gonna to go to the website here, anium.net, and then click on Atom. And right here, I can download the extension just by entering my email address. And if you're new to the world of extensions and plugins, you actually need an installer to install these extensions. And right here, you can see you have the ZXP installer from anyscripts.com. So I could go here and download it and read the documentation, or you can download it directly here for Windows or Mac, you have the buttons here. Okay, so I've downloaded and installed the ZXP installer software here, and I've downloaded the Atom X extension. You can see this is a ZXP file here. So I'm just gonna grab this and drag it and drop it directly over my ZXP installer. Okay, it was successfully installed. Now when I relaunch Adobe After Effects and go to Window Extensions, I can see right here I have Atom X. I'm gonna launch this. Now within the panel here, I have a couple of different buttons. I can watch the video tutorials. I can go look at the marketplace here. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Shape Elements Library. This is a premium product. However, you can download uh, a certain number of these assets for free. I'll leave a link down in the video description. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And I'm gonna to navigate to the Shape Elements pack. And right under here, I have an After Effects and a Premiere Pro folder because this, uh, this particular product works in both of these applications. Now, if I open up Adobe After Effects, you're gonna see that there's an Atom file here, .atom, so that's the one I want. And here I can specify the installation method. Okay, so now I've got the extension installed, I've got the package installed. Now let's take a closer look at this panel. I'm gonna go ahead and full screen this. So what I'm seeing here is I have this preview window and then I have all the categories of elements over here. And I'm looking at this new shape elements library that I imported. Again, this is the premium version. If you have the free version, you'll have something like 45 elements that you can still test out this panel and test everything out. This pack comes with 140 shapes 210 transitions and 170 sound effects. So if I click on one of these categories, it's gonna give me subcategories along with the numbers of each subcategory. So I could click on one of these, claps, combinations. Now to get a preview, I can hover over and you can see I can apply it or I can favorite it. If I wanna play everything at the same time, I can go down here at the bottom left, click on autoplay. And now as I navigate between these subcategories, I'm gonna get a quick look at everything that I want, so I'm gonna close shapes. Let's go look at transitions. Okay, we have paper, grid wipe, jaws. And I've got sound effects down here. At the bottom right, I can increase and decrease the size of my thumbnails here. And these sound effects loop. All right, so I'm gonna jump out of full screen here and let's see how we can apply some of these. So I have a very basic animation set up so far. This is just this camera scaling and rotating into the frame here. So I wanna add some elements to this to spice it up. So I'm gonna go to shapes and select lines and I'm gonna turn the autoplay on so I can see what I've got going on here. Now I like this, I'm gonna go ahead and favorite a couple that I like. I like this one and this one's pretty cool. Okay, so now I can go up here and I can just isolate the favorites here. So I'm gonna grab lines 23 and I'm gonna move my playhead right over here and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply. Okay, so you can see that's adding some elements to my timeline here. It's created this pre-comp and now I have this animation here. Let's drop it back behind. Okay, so now we've got this cool animation here and I created it really, really quickly. Now let's go over and grab these other lines and I wanna place these uh, above and before the beginning of this animation. So I'm gonna move this, place it right here, grab these two other layers, kind of scoot these out. So then I'll have these first lines shoot in and then just after that, the camera will come flying in followed by the other lines. Okay, now let's say I wanna match the colors of these lines, this first set of lines here, I wanna make them that same uh, yellow color. That's the really cool thing about this panel is you can do all the customization options right here in the same area. You don't have to dive into the pre-comps or go into any effect controls panel with any control layers. So all I need to do 
is select this second group of lines here that are yellow, and I can click this customizer button up here, and it shows me all the different parameters I can customize here, including all the shadow options, the colors, as well as the X and Y position and the scale. Now, I think I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit, this second set of lines. I don't want them to shoot out so far. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna select this yellow color, and then I'm gonna copy this hex code here. And now I will go over and grab this, select the customizer again. This is my first set of lines here, and I'm going to change these to that same yellow color. Just paste that yellow code in there. And actually I'll scale these down too. And now these are ready to go. All right, now let's check out the transitions here. I'm gonna go to basic and I'm gonna find lines to kind of keep it in the same style here. And let's go ahead and apply this one here. So I'm gonna grab the playhead and we'll just apply it right here. I'm pretty sure that this yellow is the same exact yellow of my other, other colors here. Let's just make sure I'm gonna to go to customizer and click here and yeah, that's the same yellow color. But I wanna change this gray to a white color. Okay, so now I have this transition. One other cool thing about this is that I can change the timing of this transition. So if you look right now, let's start it right at the one second mark. And you can see that the duration of this looks like it's about a second and a half. So what I can do is with the layer selected, I can click on the toolbar and then I can push timing simple. And now watch what happens to the layer. It's gonna change. I can't see the in and out points now. And that's because now this is kind of a dynamic, uh, responsive layer. I'm gonna move my playhead here and put this, let's put this in half, at the halfway point. And now as I trim the end point of this, watch what happens. It changes the timing of the animation. So if I want this to be faster, all I need to do is trim it back now. And the cool thing is these shape layers are already set up to be responsive. So if I, if I grab these here, you can see that if I trim these back, it's changing the timing of those already as well. So everything in here is really dynamic, really responsive, and it makes editing and putting together these motion graphics really, really easy. Okay, so let's take a look at this transition here. I want the transition to come in pretty quickly. And now I'm gonna add a quick text element and I want it to say 12K, and I've already designed it, this white stroke. And uh, this is the resolution of this particular camera. I'm gonna open up the align panel. We'll just align that to center. And what I want this to do is I want this to uh, transition with this transition here. So what I can do is go to the effects and presets panel, and I'm gonna grab the set matte effect, and I'm gonna apply that to the 12K text layer. And I'm gonna set the mat to be this transition, and it's gonna take an alpha. So now, it should be all set up. So you see how quick that was? All right, let's take a look at what we got here. And now for a final step here, I'm gonna add some sound effects, right? Let's add like two swooshes, one when uh, the camera flies in, and the other when the transition kind of swooshes across. So I'm gonna add two markers, then I'm gonna go over to the Atom X panel, go to sound effects, and let's look for whoosh. Okay, so let's grab this one and this one. Okay, I'm gonna go to the marker, we'll add this one, and then go to this marker and add this one. Now, if I go over here and click on the pack manager, you can see that I have my shape elements library pack here, but you also see that I have the Premiere Pro logo here, and that's because I've installed this package in Premiere Pro as well. And I'm just gonna jump over to Premiere Pro to show you how this works. Now, it's essentially, you know, you have all the same access to all these uh, shape files and elements. However, these are applied a little bit differently being that it's Adobe Premiere Pro. These, you don't have an apply button, you just have to simply drag and drop. So here I can grab the circle burst and drag and drop it over here, and it's gonna be applied as an essential graphic. So if I go to Window, Essential Graphics, you can see that as I click on it, all of these controls come up. However, I have all of these controls in the customizer of the Atom X panel, so you don't even need to dive down into the Essential Graphics panel to make any of these changes. Also, you might notice that this sequence is actually Ultra HD 4K, so this is 3840 by 2160. However, this element came in as 1920 by 1080, but that really doesn't matter because I've got this scale here, and these are all vector elements, so I can scale this up and all of these elements are gonna work just fine inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. 
However, there are more packages available and kind of geared for Adobe After Effects, being that that software is really dedicated for motion graphics. So let's go check out a few of those packs. Now working with text is a big part of Adobe After Effects, so I have these two premium packs. Let me show you. If you go up here and click this button here, that brings you to the pack manager, and I have these other two premium packs, text animation presets and great typography. I'm gonna leave affiliate links in the video description, so if you wanna check those out, please follow the links down there, and you can also find links to download some of the free assets that are available for both of these packs. Okay, so let's click the check mark here, and that brings up this pack, and I can see all the categories here and the subcategories of these text animation presets, and if I turn the autoplay on, I begin to see some of the animations. I'm gonna go to basic smooth, and we wanna do characters, because I wanna animate and bring this 12K to life. So as this transition hits, I want this to come up. So this is a pretty cool animation here where it's coming up character by character. So you see these three icons here. So I can essentially apply this as an animation in or only an animation out or both. So if I just click on this here with my 12K text layer selected, watch what happens, I'm gonna click on this. Now this applies this animation preset and you can see there's a marker now in this text layer that says in. So this is the duration of that animation in. So if I move this over you can see that that is now animating and like that, which is very, very cool. And if I move this marker, that's gonna change the speed of that animation in. So really versatile, really dynamic, super easy to use. So I want this to animate in right as this transition hits. As if this wasn't cool enough already, you can click on the text layer and go to the customizer. And here you can add multiple presets to the same text layer and quickly move around what you want as the in or the out. Really, really cool. Okay, now let's go check out that other typography pack. I'm gonna click on the check mark here. Now this one's great if you're creating elements from scratch and you wanna have different styles that are completely uh, set and ready to go, you just need to change the color in the text. So here you can see all the different styles. I have titles, lower thirds, quotes, badges. I mean, look at these. Some of these are pretty darn cool retro badges. So let's say I want to put together something entirely new. Um, I'm going to grab the quotes, go to modern. Let's just grab one really quickly and see what it looks like here. So I have this new comp here uh, and it has the two markers, the in and the out. So it, I can retime that animation in and the animation out if I want. And the customization options, I just need to go to that customizer section here and I can change the colors. So let's say we wanna add that yellow color. I don't remember specifically what it was. I can change the position of the scale or you know make an alpha background. And to edit the text, there's a tab over here. So let's say I wanna quickly um, add a quote here from Blackmagic Design. And they're gonna say 12K, suck it, Canon. And so you can see, there you go, really, really cool templates. These are really high quality, super easy to use. This is a really good interface. And if you wanna check out more premium packs, just click on this little button here. And this is gonna take you to the store and you can see there's different packs from different creators. And again, I've used quite a few of these packs and I've gotta tell you, it's some of the, the best quality uh, motion graphics I've seen out there. So you're definitely getting your money's worth when you buy a pack like this, you're gonna reuse it. When you see how much time you save with these, you're probably gonna make your money back within like one project. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And once again, all the links for all the freebies as well as all of the premium packs are available down in the video description. If you wanna see more cool content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell.